Introducing the new Kita Carbon Monoxide Alarm with Indoor Air Quality Monitor, the first smart home safety device to integrate carbon monoxide detection with indoor air quality monitoring. The alarm detects multiple airborne threats to home health and safety from a single Wi-Fi enabled device, so you can be alerted of potential health and safety issues to help keep you and your family safer. The device uses Kita HomeSafe to connect to the Kita app and place status updates and alerts at your fingertips. And it all starts with simple setup. Here, we'll walk you through the process of installing the app and setting up your alarm. Before you begin, it's important to note that this is a 120 volt plug-in alarm, which means it's powered by plugging into a standard outlet in your home. Inside the packaging, you'll find the alarm, quick start guide, and user guide. When you're ready to begin, start by downloading the Kita app to your phone. You can find it in the App Store by searching Kita or scan the QR code in step one of the Quick Start Guide. Once the app is installed, open the app. Create a new account if needed or log in to your existing Kita account. You can create an account by entering your first name, last name, email, and password. Then go to your email to verify your Kita app account. Be sure to check your email spam folder if you don't get an email, go back to the Kita app screen and select click here to resend and a new email will be sent to your account. With your account set up, it's time to add your new device to the app. Tap add a device in the app and select carbon monoxide alarm with indoor air quality monitor. The in-app steps will now guide you through setting up your safety device. First, remove the red tab so you can plug in the alarm but don't flip the discharge switch underneath as it will drain the battery and disable the alarm. That switch comes into use when you are ready to dispose of it at the end of this alarm's life cycle. Your device is now ready to be added to the Kita app. Connect your device to the app by scanning the QR code shown in step three of the Quick Start Guide or on the back of your safety device. QR scan successful will show on the app screen. Plug in your carbon monoxide alarm with indoor air quality monitor. Rotate the plug if needed. The plug rotates 90 degrees so you can use it in both vertical and horizontal outlets. Once the device is plugged in, get ready to connect to Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi icon will blink with the message programming. Refer to the user guide for more details on installation. Your device is now ready to connect to your Wi-Fi network. You must proceed in the app and connect to Wi-Fi within 15 minutes. If you do not connect your alarm to Wi-Fi in the app within 15 minutes, it's simple to reset the device. Press and hold the test hush button on the device for eight to 10 seconds until you hear three beeps. Then release the button. To connect to Wi-Fi, select your home's Wi-Fi network from the list. Please make sure your home Wi-Fi is a 2.4 gigahertz band network. You can do this by checking your router user guide or router settings. Tap the in-app push notification to join a network if prompted. Next, enter your Wi-Fi network password and then name your device. Here's a tip, include your device's location in the name so it's easy to identify in an emergency. You can change the name later if you want. Now, select a type of room from the drop-down menu list. The Kita app also allows you to manage smart alarms at multiple property locations. Select which property to add your alarm to or create a new property and name your dwelling. With those steps complete, you will see a Wi-Fi icon without programming text on the LCD screen. You have successfully added and connected your safety device. Now you can begin experiencing the alarm features using the app. To see the status of all Kita smart devices in your home, you can tap the dashboard icon in the app at any time. You can also use the app to get notifications when a device needs to be replaced. If carbon monoxide is detected in your home, or if the indoor air quality monitor detects the presence of total volatile organic compounds, or TVOCs, harmful chemicals in your air that can impact your health over time. Instructions in the app will also guide you through changes like resetting alarms if you're moving, changing your Wi-Fi network, and more. Note, the air in every indoor environment is different, and the indoor air quality monitor on this device needs some time to calibrate to the new space. As TVOC levels can vary significantly from home to home, building to building, or even room to room, 
The device requires approximately four days to calibrate before TVOC readings are accurate and provided. The alarm will begin calibration automatically once connected to power. Carbon monoxide detection is not affected during this calibration period. We hope you've found this video helpful in setting up your new Kitta carbon monoxide alarm with indoor air quality monitor. Stay connected with us to learn more about new products, features, and all the ways we can help you manage your home safety systems with confidence.